Right now, it's time for our jobs feature, and she is the president of and founder of One Mill Two Sugars PR. She's also an elite member of the Forbes Agency Council. Priya Chopra joins me now in studio. Good morning, Hi, Priya. Hi, Laura. How are you? I'm great. So good to have you here in studio. Great to have you. And we were just I, I when I read that title, the elite member, an elite member of the Forbes Agency Council. What is that, and what does it mean? So Forbes has a um, international network of entrepreneurs, uh, presidents, CEOs, mostly in ad agencies or fields of communication. So they contacted me last year. To, it's an invite only, and lo and behold, I'm a Montrealer driving my car, and you know they called, and I thought that was so surprising. Mm -hmm. I said, "Oh, how did you find me?" Because honestly, I was really, really shocked. Uh, so there are some other Montrealers part of this hub. So it's a global network, and they provide you with a bunch of resources, you know, you get a little nod from them and you get to write on Forbes.com, you get to contribute, so. You say, you know, when you say that, you say that you were surprised to get the call, but you oh. have been so successful, Priya, you know, with One Milk, Two Sugars. <laughs> Tell you. us how that journey started. How did you get started in PR? Really by accident. It was like one thing led to another. I actually uh, was in Italy, uh, your home country, <laughs> and I came back and uh, I was sort of pondering what to do. I was discovering journalism. I was thinking maybe it's journalism or maybe it's going back in marketing because mm. I had a marketing background. I had never actually done PR except for a few months, but it was always something that piqued my interest. So I got a job um, actually working as a consultant at the time, just, you know, an independent boutique owner said, hey, you want to help me out? And I said, sure. Um, and just one thing led to the other. Good and here I am 12 years later. 12 years yeah. later, not only do you have an office in Montreal, you also have one in Toronto. And I understand you're looking to expand in the U.S. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, yeah. The U.S. has been in my plans. Uh, it took a little bit longer because of the children. I have a few kids. so Just kinda, three. Yes. <laughs> Three kids. So now that I'm actually sleeping at night and I can have my brain power back, I said, okay, I'm going to put this project back on. Um, and the government actually, funny enough, you know, when you're planning something, mm. everything just lines up. So a few months ago, the government of Canada actually contacted me because they have a number of programs for women. Actually, if you're a visible minority, if you're a woman uh, who has her own business, they have a number of programs to export your business into the U.S. Wow. So well, that's um, some good advice for anyone listening right now. Yeah, I was, I didn't even know about it so um, that is all kind of lining everything up into place and you know it's in the short term do you have any advice for uh, people watching right now that are looking to start their own business um, I think it's just um, the expectation of time they have to be really realistic about how long it takes I think some people think it could be a few months or a year it takes years and years so the resilience you have to be really resilient mm. and also realistic about uh, the dedication and the time it's gonna take well, it's so exciting to see you have Thank all this you. success Thank because you. not only you're, I mean, you're so smart, but you're such a, a lovely, nice person as well. Oh, so congratulations. You, you are speaking at Concordia's marketing conference that's happening on March 17th. Yeah. You'll be speaking to the students there. Yeah. Uh, they certainly have a lot to learn from you. Thank you so much, Priya, for Thank coming in this you. morning. Thank you. Always great to see you.